It's the attack of the flesh-eating beetles. That may sound like an idea for a bad horror film, but tiny flesh-eating beetles are entirely real. And in fact, scientists here at the California Academy of Sciences even make good use of them. In the wild, most dermestid beetles are scavengers, often found feeding on the meat, skin, hair, and feathers of animal carcasses. They make up an important part of the ecosystem, contributing to the decomposition process that helps transfer nutrients from dead things back into the soil. Their determination to eat every last bit of animal flesh has led to their use in a very different setting, in the preparation of skeletons for use in natural history museums. We use the dermestid beetle colony to clean small and delicate specimens, um, and also the bones of baby or immature animals, uh, stuff that would fall apart uh, if we used a different method. Dermestids get the bones clean. When they're done, skeletons are freer of flesh than if Academy scientists had tried to remove it themselves. Once they're clean, uh, they're cataloged and put into our research collection where they're available for other scientists or artists to use them. It's not something that I, I had on my list of things I wanted to do when I was a kid, but I've always been interested in the biological sciences and um, dead things have never really creeped me out. I always thought it was interesting and I just sort of fell into it. While the beetles can be a helpful assistant when used properly, Scientists must be very careful lest they turn into a museum's worst enemy. The beetles will attack any natural animal fibers, including those preserved on specimens in exhibits or in museum collections. But live animals, and people, have nothing to worry about. Dermestids really like their things to be very dead. Um, even really fresh things they're not so turned on by. They really like things that have been sitting out and are nice and dry, almost like beef jerky. 